Oh, and blammo, we are back on a Saturday night, guys. Saturday night, 27 March, 2022. We have Bitcoin at 44,000. We are holding at 44,500. Looking good. Good old Ethereum at 3135 as it steadily marches towards that shadow merge. The shadow merge to the POS proof of stake world. What will happen to mining afterwards? Nobody knows. Nobody knows, but it should be pretty exciting. So anyway, let's see what's going on today. Oh, let's do something stupidly different. Let's just go through and say, oh, let's see what's going on in the uh, YouTube crypto miner space. Uh, a lot of these guys I follow a lot. I cannot watch the videos because I cannot like for this streaming stuff. An hour and a half, I don't have the time to devote to it. And if I do have the time, I will play it at 1.5 speed just to get the nuggets of information out if it applies to what I'm doing. I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, so here, let's go through Red Fox Crypto. If you don't follow him, drop him a follow. He's pretty good. His channel has grown pretty well. This guy's on camera. He uh, here. Let's see. We can. There he is. He's in his basement in front of a rack full of boxes, and he has a little test rig, and he talks pretty good. You know, he's he's like me. He's an IT techie, uh, but he he actually has a decent on screen on camera presence. I don't go on camera because I I just don't want to do it. I don't see the point in it. You don't need to see my big, ugly face. Uh, and most of my information is just for entertainment. So he's pretty good. Check him out. So he is talking about Ethereum and a new miner. It looks like an appliance, a 1U appliance, which is probably not cheap. And to drop a lot, yeah, the Yale Jazz Miner, I think they're a few thousand bucks. <clears throat> and to drop that much money right now to do Ethereum is probably not a very smart idea on a ROI position because if Ethereum is going to go to POS, what are you going to mine, right? Yeah, you're better off taking that money and buying Ethereum through an exchange, holding it so when it goes to proof of stake, you can start getting proof of stake passive income that way. You know what I mean? That's the big debate now with mining is, for me, do I go out and spend a couple thousand bucks on some GPUs or some CPUs for CPU mining? Or I just take that money and start buying dollar cost average in on Ethereum, Bitcoin. You know what I mean? It, and just not have to worry about an ROI and dealing with power and heat and all that stuff. It's a trade-off. It's how much are you into the hobby and the future of mining. And uh, right now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure the answer on that one. But um, yeah, so we'll go on. Uh, what do we got here? We got Chump Change, XD, mining and something, mining and crypto. Uh, he's pretty funny, and his, I think his wife comes on too and helps him out, and he has interesting information. Again, he does the stream and collabs with people. Yeah, you can get some stuff out of that too, good information. Again, all these channels are doing well. Um, pretty cool. So again, community's great. Learn from all these guys. Most, I'd say all people have been pretty decent, pretty helpful. Uh, most have uh, communities in Discord. I'm a big Discord fan, even though I do have a Discord. I don't like it for some reason. Uh, yeah, I, I know I like slack, but anyway discord is pretty uh, pretty good for uh, community setups And that's where you can go follow most of these guys and get information uh, Red Fox is kind of honest and cool that he admits he does use a reseller a reseller a retail bot to buy his uh, GPUs nothing wrong with that you got to do what you got to do and you can get them on MSRP or less Problem is setting all that stuff is a major pain in the butt with a stellar Nova all these retail bots are just time-consuming you got to generate accounts with Amazon. Amazon then puts temporary holds on these new accounts, and you got to deal with the folks in India trying to convince them that you are who you are. It's ridiculous, and they don't care. They're in India. They're, they're making a, a penny a year, and uh, they're not going to help you, Americans. Come on. Anyway, so he, he admits that, and I, I appreciate him for doing that because I do the same thing. That's how I got my GPUs because uh, there's no other way to get them. I couldn't find them anywhere, and everything was scalper prices. I should do a whole video on that, but... Right now, the reselling, the retail bot market is not where it's at. Yeah, you can buy the stuff, and maybe you'll get it shipped to you, but they'll say, oh, you ordered it, and they won't ship it to you. It's ridiculous. It's kind of sketch right now. And even if you want to resell a GPU or a game console like a PS5, you're not, I don't know, maybe the PS5, you get your money. Xbox, no, you'll break even. GPUs, you'll, they're brick, you'll break even or lose a few bucks. So right now, the reselling market's not all cracked up to making uh, or not all a good move right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm debating whether to spend the money to get back in. Right now I'm not. 
<clears throat> so right now I'm just kind of hold watching as things go by. All right, crypto news. Yeah, we talked about him. Voscoin. I don't know why I follow him. I don't. I haven't watched the video in his since a long time. Uh, what are you? 18, 18, Dogecoin. And again, I go by what other people say. I hear these miners are just not worth it. These Dogecoin miners. You spend all that money, and they're not even in stock. I think they're in China. So it's just. I heard people get them. They look pretty crappy, shoddy work. I, again, it's all hearsay. It's other people in other videos. It doesn't seem like the juice is worth the squeeze on these things. So I rather stick with CPU and GPU mining. Uh, what is this? Max voltage mining. Uh, LOL miner 147. I think, oh, this guy, he's, he's all right. He's pretty cool. He just keeps things straight, uh, has good information. And the LOL miner, I think, came out, which has a great new LHR break hack, which uh, gets you better performance on those crappy LHR cards. And uh, But it's only for Linux right now. And uh, so you can watch that. That's a good video. <clears throat> Man, oh boy. Uh, let's see. Nail gun to finger building GPU mining ring. I love this guy. Brandon Coin. He's the best, man. I think he probably has one of the biggest YouTube channels. And uh, just it's just honest. The guy's honest. He's sincere. I like how he just, it's, it's stuff, not fluff. He doesn't have all these $300 rigs that people are showing on their channels. I know some guys, nothing against them. They get the stuff for free. To market it and all that stuff these rigs you can build a rig for seven bucks out of wood and I'm not gonna go spend 250 bucks on a rig it's just not worth it what because you want to ROI and Brandon said it too he goes why waste money on stuff that's not gonna make you money you buy these fancy rigs I don't know but he's honest his stuff is just not they slap together it's there and it works so it's stuff not fluff he's the best I get the most enjoyment out of whatever he talks about on his videos uh yeah probably my number one go-to guy just for keeping up on just the whole just eco space the domain uh yeah number one in my book uh again Voscon, i i have sorry i have not watched any of his lately i don't know why uh there's brandon again uh oh it's the same guy so i this must be i don't have other oh, there's hobbyist miner he's pretty good he was off cam for a bit and he went on cam there he is his little face uh and there's his little buddy they're all doing um little chat session here how long is this one that's only 20 minutes and they're you know they're just having a nice little thing what what should you do after ethereum mining after ethereum again nobody knows there's a bunch of coins out there ergo flux ravencoin and they all have different situations so like ravencoin sucks a lot of power uh ergo you can mine on two miners but you can't mine it to bitcoin i wish you could exchange it to bitcoin you know mine ergo and get it cashed out in bitcoin i wish they would do that right now that's only with ethereum and you can mine Ethereum on two miners to get paid out to Bitcoin. <clears throat> so yeah, he's pretty good. He started in his basement. He he got I watched his stuff on the Grow Tent and also Red Coin. Red Coin. I forgot his name already. Red Fox Crypto had a Grow Tent. I got a Grow Tent. And uh, that was good to see those guys do it. So he's got some good videos. Go sign up for his stuff. His channel has blown up. So again, he's a good speaker, good public voice. Uh, that's, you know, a lot of people like me, I just do this for fun. I'm not the, I'm obviously not a public speaker and I just kind of stream a conscious just to throw out whatever's in my little brain and, uh, hopefully get some information I put out is useful. Apecoin, I heard about that. Voscoin guy again, again, I should probably watch him and catch him and see what he's saying. Uh, let's see. Same guy. Seb, he's pretty interesting cat. I'm not sure what, I'm guessing he's. Finish? I don't know where he's at. I don't think he's in the U.S. I think he's overseas somewhere. And uh, he's pretty straight shooter. And he's in his basement. And um, has some good information. Uh, yeah, I think technically he's got some good information, how-tos. And he does a lot of overclocking. Uh, it's, it's helped me a lot. Again, what I do is I canvas all the channels and piece out information from each of them to see what works best for me. And I'll try stuff. And some stuff just doesn't work for me. And I say, yeah, at least I tried it. And yeah, I wasted a day, big deal. But at least I tried and you learn. That's how you do this. You take from all and you kind of see what works for you. And you go with it. Oh, uh, let's see. They're talking about, oh, he's talking about the merge here. Uh, Red Fox Boy, Red Fox Crypto, Hobbyist Miner. There are some other guys. Uh, this must, I don't have them all on this one. But again, those are the all hash wrapped. I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, mining Farm Update. I forget who he is. I think he's the guy with the shed in the backyard. Again, put a major investment in into this and, you know, put a shed and ran power to his backyard. So, yeah, I don't have that luxury anymore where I'm at right now. My old house, I had a lot of land, a lot of power. I had a Tesla with solar panels. 
oh man, I would love that that house right now. <laughs> I would love that that Tesla back and that house with the solar panels on it. I'd be mining like nobody's business. Oh yeah, but now right now I'm just I'm comfortable with 1.1, 1.2 gigahertz. That's my comfort threshold. Yeah. All right. So there's him some more. Uh, let's see. They're all talking about graphics cards. Oh, I don't know about this other stuff they're mentioning. Meter boxes. The old riser myth. What I liked about Brandon Coy, man, he got me into this uh, riserless motherboards where you just pop the cards on the motherboard and don't have to waste the extra money on like the risers for GPUs, uh, GPU risers and cables. It's the way to go. But once I fill up my current situation, if I do get more GPUs, I'll consider getting a a uh, motherboard that you just plop eight of these GPUs on and, and go to town and no need for racks and stuff or rigs and stuff like that. <clears throat> just plug and play, baby. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Mining falling profitability, Ethereum mining falling profitability. It was falling. It's up now. It's kind of spiking up. Oh, I don't have it bookmarked. It's at 046 cents, I think, now from 03 cents. So it is going up for some reason. Oh, let's see. Oh, Jump Change was on a liquid cooled RTX 3090. I did not even watch that. I think he's using mineral oil, mineral water, mineral oil. I don't know, something like that. I should probably watch that. Again, I don't have enough time to watch all these videos. Uh, let's see. I like, because um, Brandon just pops his videos on late at night, Eastern time and midnight. I can just watch those real quick while I'm doing other stuff. And that that's kind of useful. Uh, let's see. Hold on a sec. Let's switch over to this page. Give me a minute. I'm going to bring this over if I can. Oh, what do I got on this list? Oh, dear God. Um, BitBoy Crypto. Oh, that's the guy who talks about crypto all the time. He's a panel. He's got millions of followers. And it's kind of, again, he's, he's, his channel is, it could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways. But it could also go backwards. I'm like, all right. I get you doing the clicks. You're getting a lot of hope in. People think they can become millionaires with this stuff. They may, but again, it's just is what it is. It's entertainment. That's the way I take it. Oh, Rabbit Mining, he's pretty cool. He's an interesting delivery with his voice. I kind of like that. Uh, another Canadian. And uh, who's the other guy? Oh, Red, not Red Fox. Oh, what's that guy's name? Oh, my God. He's the, one of the popular crypto guys. I don't even know his name. Here it is. Red Panda. All these little red guys. Red Panda, Red Fox. Uh, this guy. Yeah, he, he's interesting, too. He's another Canadian. So you got a lot of Canadians into crypto mining. It's pretty interesting because everything in Canada is expensive. Taxes are out the roof. I don't know how people live there, especially with the current situation going on with the government. But, um, yeah. Anyway, but, yeah, Rabbit's good. He's got a lot of testing he does with CPU mining and options to do there. Uh, I was mining Raptorium. I do smart nodes now. I got all the information from him. And then even uh, Pulsar. I, I was mining a uh, Raptorium, just building up my bag, my stack of Raptorium, and it just kind of wasn't doing much today. I said, ah, what's going on? My exchange now? I said, let me switch back over, or let me try Pulsar for a bit. So right now I have uh, my CPU rigs running against Pulsar to see if I hit on anything, just for grins, because the beauty there is you can stake these things on the uh, Pulsar wallet, software wallet on your, on your PC and gain interest that way. So not even burning electricity once you do it. I'm going out around right now on inode Z right here. Here's my Raptorium, and then there's what I got. It's not much, but it's giving me this a day, and I just rolled over 602 because I wasn't making any more today. I don't know what was going on with the uh, exchange, or not the exchange, the mining pool, uh, Minifacil I was using, and I was just wasn't getting any for the past 12 hours. I said, eh, I don't know what I did or something's going on. Uh, so I just moved over, moved what I had over, and then I went and I did uh, – Pulsar CPU mining. And I'm going to see, again, I will try something that other people that have taken the time to do videos on. I will try it to see if it works for me. Raptorium worked out well for me. I like it. I like the end to end use case of it, the practicality of the reward where you mine it, you move it to your wallet, and from there you move it up to a smart note and you get interest passive income. And then you build your bat, you know, you stack your coins and you let it ride. It's like you're just building little stacks of coins that one day is all speculation but it may go up and you may make a few bucks that bam one day could pay off all your rigs and all that stuff get that ROA faster it could go to zero I could lose it all but oh well 
You never know. No risk, no reward, right? Oh, where are we now? What did I do with those guys? Here they are. All right. So, yeah, he's pretty good if you're not following Rabbit Miner. Give him a follow. He does live streams, and he, and he has some hamburgers there. Uh, but he uh, he does, like I said, he does a lot of testing and performance and profitability analysis on different coins to mine with your CPU. And I kind of like him in a way because he does say CPU mining may, may be the future once Ethereum goes away as proof of work and goes to proof of stake. I kind of believe that. And I wish it were true. I hope it is true. Because CPU mining uses electri less electricity and generates a lot less heat. And the CPUs, you can buy a few CPUs for the price of one GPU these days. Yeah, even though GPU prices are trending down. They're, they are actually starting to trend down, but not to MSRP level shit. I'd say give it to, uh, where are we at? We're going into April. Give it to May. And maybe we'll start seeing MSRP prices. Uh, things are available right now, GPUs. That's a good thing. Uh, but they're still a bit high. I want to get some A2000s. I want to try one or two of those, but they're like 600 plus bucks a pop. And uh, I think some ship from China, but you can get them from Lenovo and Dell. I hate Dell. I hate their website. I hate the company. I like the product they make, but their whole customer interface, website, the extra shipping and crap they throw on in the cart. It's a horrible website to buy things from. Dell could do a lot better. I don't know what the problem is. When I buy Dell crap, I buy it from eBay and I actually save a few hundred bucks as opposed to buying the thing directly from Dell, Dell's website. And that's the truth. I was just amazed. I thought, oh, I'll just go right to Dell and buy this laptop I need for work. What a pain in the butt. They kept track, stacking on uh, 75 bucks for shipping. I went, wait a minute, you're only shipping at two states over and the thing weighs under, under 10 pounds. Are you kidding me? Uh, then I went to uh, eBay and got the thing free shipping. So 200 saved on shipping and it was like 150 bucks less. I said, it was same, same computer. So yeah, always go to eBay, StockX, do other sites first for you end up going to the main manufacturer sites like Dell. Yeah. I, my advice, stay away from Dell, stay away from Dell's website. Their products are good, but their site customer facing stuff is crap. Oh my God. Where are we? Oh, I got a lot of entrepreneur crap. All these entrepreneurs talk stuff. It's like, whatever. I don't know. It's entertainment for me. I just put it on background and laugh. Oh, boy, BitBoy Crypto. We talked about him. Where is my boy? Where is he? Oh, I just had it. Sorry. Hold on a sec. Graphically challenged. This guy, he's interesting. He comes out and talks about graphics cards. But he sounds like he's an infomercial guy. And his, his, his delivery, again, not to criticize. But it's to me, it's infomercially the way you talk, a little, you know, not cringy or cheesy, but just, eh, it's a little too, too forced. It could be a little more real, uh, maybe tone it down a bit and I don't know, but he's doing well. Who might, who might have bitch, right? Who might have complained? But I just give me my opinion and opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, right? Red Panda Mining. So he just did a video. I don't get this guy. He, I mean, he's, he's like the OG guy. He's been around forever in a basement again in Canada somewhere, Vancouver or whatever. Uh, but he gets all this stuff and a lot of stuff is shipped to him because he has a lot of a big viewer base. So he gets to try stuff out for free. But when I see him with a stack of six, 6600 XT GPUs, I'm like, dude, where do you get these things from? Are you using a retail bot? And he doesn't really disclose that. Either he works in a retail space <clears throat> or electronic store where he can get this stuff or he is one of those stores and he just bulk, bulk orders the stuff and keeps them for himself. That's fine, but I, I, I just don't seem to be able to find that answer. He may have answered the question, but I, I just haven't found the answer to it. But it's just, for a, for a basic miner, it's a little overwhelming to see all this stuff. But, yeah, it's kind of crazy. But I guess it can show you what you can grow into. And he's off camera mostly. It's just voice, which is fine. I appreciate that. Because, again, no one wants to look at me, so I just like to just be behind the camera. Am I still on? Hold on a sec. I just clicked the wrong button. Blammo. Now we're 20 minutes out. I'm going to make this a long video. No, I don't care. So there, he's pretty good. Go, Of course, I'm sure you're all subscribed to Red Panda. Surfing stuff, rabid mining, like I said, it's good. Brandon Coin. Uh, a lot of this crap I don't even watch. Bitboy Crypto again. Oh, Call to Me Crypto is interesting. They're two, one guy's out of Japan. And again, they're... The, they're doing, they're doing, they're doing the grind, right? They're doing, they're, they're doing the work, and I appreciate that. But again, these guys sell crypto classes for like nine hundred bucks, and if they're, if they're so, I, I don't know how to say it without being a dick. If they're so good at crypto, why do they need to do classes 
to teach crypto. If I was doing well at crypto trading, I'd be gone. It's like, well, I just dropped them. I just made a million bucks on, on puppy coin. You know, I'm out. It's like what you learn in life is the people that really have real money and earn the money or just falling into the money. They keep it to themselves because they know they won. They have financial independence. They have the money, the freedom, the power. They don't need to go on YouTube and make uh, education videos and or classes and charge 900 bucks on, you know, buy high, sell low. And, you know, like I said, it could go up, could go down, go backwards, could go sideways, you know, take profits and fear in the street. There's like six things to say, and that's all you need to say, dollar cost average, you know. But I always wonder that, too. If you really made real money, why are you doing this? Uh, yeah. It's why if your courses are that good, why are you guys doing that? You're making more money from the courses, obviously, than you are from trading crypto. Oh, yeah, just my take. I could be wrong. Oh, this guy, <laughs> Anthony Papliano. His, again, he's the uh, Bitcoin. His, his not, that's not him. That's one of his guys, his young kids on. Comes in and does graph analysis. This is one of the guys I just can't stand because they just talk about graphs and trends. And he's always wrong. They kept saying $100,000 Bitcoin, they said in November. They kept talking about these stupid trends and all this stuff on these charts. Brings up trade view. I went... Stop with the craziness, dude. You're selling snake oil. Nobody gives a crap what you're talking about in the charts. You're just making this stuff up. Just because something trended down three basis points yesterday and did it at the same time four months ago doesn't mean it's going to do it again four months from now. Everything is dynamic, and everyone's looking for patterns. They're looking for the magic the magic pill, get, get rich quick thing, and there is no get rich quick. Um, but, yeah, he's on there. The Instagram channel, they really shill Bitcoin. It's him and his three bro him and his two brothers, and uh, you know he's good. He comes out and punches against authority and the crappy government we have right now, and all their crappy uh, kind of tyrannical policies and just bullshit. I love it. So he does have some good points. They really are heavy on the crypto, and he, he also has a crypto class, but is tailored more for um, tech. And learning the blockchain domain, the crypto domain, everything's built on blockchain. So once you understand the blockchain, and if you're doing Ethereum, there's Solidity. Solidity is the IDE, the interface development environment that you use to code on the Ethereum network. It's not that hard, guys. It is really not that hard. It's like anything. If someone knows it and says they know it or an expert, it is only because they read the book or took the course a day before you did. Most people do have the aptitude to learn this stuff. You just got to want to learn this stuff. If you're not good at learning it, it's because you probably don't want to be there. You know what I mean? If you want to be there and you want to learn it, your mind turns on to learning new things and helping you problem solve. It's amazing. So he does have a course tailored towards, like I said, blockchain, crypto stuff, not really investing in it, but just understanding it and teaching you the terms and how it is and how to work it and the environment. Basically also gets you hooked up with some of these crypto companies, these blockchain companies, because they need people, and not everyone knows this stuff. And I interviewed with a few companies, and um, I forgot what the one is. They, oh yeah, they. I kind of don't want to interview the second one because I just don't. I'm so sick of technical interviews. I just pass. I said I'm not. I just don't have the energy. I should have done it, but I didn't. But then I'm gonna maybe take this course. I don't know. And I want to spend a thousand bucks. But um, the idea being, they get you introduced to these companies, and uh, you know this stuff, and they're they they kind of like the course. The companies like what the course teaches, and you may have an opportunity to work with these companies and get involved, not just as a software uh, putthead uh, like me, but also someone in software or crypto as an evangelist, uh, you know, HR, or a publicist, marketing. It helps you understand the terms and that. So it's good to check it out. I'm not showing from him, but that's what I'm looking into today. Uh, yeah, again, I don't want to drop a thousand bucks on a class right now. I just took another class in something else. A couple weeks ago and dropped 1500 bucks so it adds up i'm kind of addicted to education so i'm not addicted to drugs cigarettes drinking or gambling but i am addicted to education which is weird because before i used to hate it but now as you get older you want to learn new things you want to do new things and i find i don't like some things but i tried it i went i took uh, flight lessons i did solo i did all this crap and i just ended up saying this is expensive what is the mission i'm going to use this for and of course this can kill me <laughs> Small general aviation accidents happen daily. It's kind of sobering. And these are experienced pilots kind of nose diving into the ground. I don't want to do that just yet. So, yeah. So I try stuff, but I, it's fine. I tend to lose interest. I don't know if that's a sign of genius <laughs> or just I just 
learn it and say, yeah, okay, next. Oh, let's see. So Cultivate Crypto, same guy. Little sailing beauty couple there. They sail around the world, which is interesting to me too. They're from Australia. They got the hell out of Australia due to the tyrannical regime there. And they're so glad. They're actually just, they, they of all the places in the world, they like the Caribbean, which is really interesting because that's really near me. And uh, that is pretty funny to me. They've sailed across the whole world. You know, all these, uh, Menorca, India, uh, of course, Australia, Southeast Asia, uh, over in uh, Med as well, the Mediterranean. And they ended up saying uh, Caribbean's the best, which is pretty cool. So that's good to hear. All right, let's go on. Oh, I don't think I have any more crypto crap. A lot, a lot of stupid entrepreneur crap. Again, I don't watch half of this stuff on here. You can see some of some they do. There's Rabbit Minder. I watch him. Solo Mind Pulsar. And he does it too. He just doesn't bullshit. He actually does it. And then he shows you the results, which is kind of good. And it doesn't seem like he's getting, you know, he's just shilling like, here's the new rack I got here from this company. And I was like, that's a $400 rack, dude. I'm not going to buy that. I'm going to build one for seven bucks out of wood. I'm trying to save money and get my ROI. So some, again, some of the YouTubers, I know it's hard to make content, but again, they, they're getting free crap and they're pushing it. Uh, but yeah, take it for what it is. It's entertainment. A lot of good stuff out there. Here's Red Panda again, and he's got what? He's got, I'm mining Ethereum Classic instead of keeping this on. I don't know. what. The, oh, it's one of those ASIC machines. I don't really like these things. Bitmains. I don't know. I just don't see the point. I don't know. I'm just not sold on it due to the noise and all that stuff. And then it's such a dedicated machine. It, you're tied to it. You're tied to that algorithm. And I don't really, I, that's not really for me. I like the flexibility of CPU and GPU mining. Um, that's just me. I could be a total idiot, but that's just where it's at. And it's hard to get these things too. So there you go. All right, guys, that is all. That's a today. That is a look at what is happening in the um, the world of crypto investing and crypto mining YouTubers from the ones I I watch. There's probably a lot more out there, but again, there's only so many minutes in the day, and at some point. You can only watch so much instructional or how-to videos or information videos. You've got to get off your ass and go out and do something with that knowledge. Otherwise, it's just you're addicted to watching YouTube and you become nothing. So, yeah. Like here, this is an A2000 or A4000 for rent. I'd love to get one of those. I've been looking all day for it. But I just really hits me that I don't want to sock away or spend 600 plus bucks just to try something right now. I need to see what taxes come back, if any, or what I owe. And then go from there. Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh, let's see what else. That's all I got, man. All right. So that, again, is a snapshot of the day of what I kind of keep an eyeball on to get my or my uh, daily dose of crypto. And, again, I just skim over most stuff. So 1.5 speed is your friend. And there's also a lot of great stuff on Rumble and Odyssey and BitChute. Not just YouTube. A lot of people are leaving YouTube for various reasons, which obvious reasons for those of you who are paying attention to the political climate. Uh, yeah, there's, they're just getting out and they're going to the uh, other, other, uh, uh, other platforms, which are <clears throat> going to be a lot better. YouTube may go the way of um, MySpace. I can see that happening, but we'll see. It's just being run by the wrong people. Uh, so that's the problem. All right, that is all I got. Go check out those channels, subscribe. If you have any you recommend, post them below. And uh, I'm always interested in learning. And uh, let me know if you watch BitBoy Crypto, if he's actually ever made you any money or through his advice. And have you taken any of these Cultivate Crypto classes? And what is your best YouTube crypto miner, GPU, CPU miner? I'd like to know. Maybe I'm missing one guy out there I need. Ooh, Caveman Mining. I haven't watched him either in a long time. Look at this. Hands on stuff, hardware, I love it. I love when there's cables out, baby, and fans spinning. That's the type of video I dig. All right, guys, go forth through great things. Thank you for uh, listening and watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Blammo. All right, how we turn this off? Stop.